Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. All right, we got to talk about the Money in the Bank show, and the only thing really of great note on the show was a surprise appearance by John Cena, which was very weird because literally the first words that came out of his mouth were, Tonight I officially announced my retirement from WWE. By the time he was done with the promo, he had stated that he would be there for Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and WrestleMania. And by the time the night was over and he was finished with the press conference, he's basically wrestling through all of 2025. He he's wants to do 30 to 40 more matches. Yeah. A retirement tour. I mean, I don't think he's going to get 30 to 40 matches because he'd have to wrestle a lot on television. Because, you yeah. know, they've cut way back on house shows. Uh, maybe he'll do some house shows. I don't know. But, um, well, he said know, 30 just, to 40 matches. So that's that's a lot of dates. Yeah, I wonder if he's, he's you know, because, I mean, the thing is now, because of how much money they generate and how much, you know, he can do and everything, it's like before, one of the things why he, you know, w you know, one of the reasons he transitioned into leaving and wasn't around a lot is because, you know, there's so much more money to be made in acting than there is in wrestling. And also acting is his future. Wrestling was not his future anymore. So it's what you go in. But it could be. You know, I mean, they paid they paid Dwayne thirty million, so I mean, you know, so it's like before, like for Dwayne, it's like it's like you know, I mean, he he could wrestle, but it it wasn't worth it considering how much money he could make, you know, acting. But now you when you're talking about thirty million, that's a different level of stuff. I mean, and again, it's thirty million not wrestling for full time. It's for thirty million to wrestle WrestleMania and be on the board and everything. But like with John, I don't know what the deal is or anything, but. They can the the amount of money you can make wrestling now, um, if you're jo if you're the right person, um, maybe it's comparable. You know, because if he's going to do thirty or forty matches, he can be acting all year. I mean, he can he can do his acting things like maybe for two months, three months, or whatever. But this would appear that he is not spending twelve months acting in twenty twenty five if he's going to be doing all these different shows. You know, he's doing Peacemaker now, and he had like a day off and flew into Toronto, but that was it. But like you know, the, you know the peacemaker thing was for months, and you know when he does when you do a movie, it's for months. So he might be cut. I mean, if he's going to do the dates he says he's going to do, he's going to be cut. He's going to have to cut back on his acting to a degree, which surprises me. But then again, you know, big farewell tour and everything, and uh, you know, a year. It's a long farewell, but um, a year. Yeah, eighteen it, months. Actually, it is eighteen months. Yeah. Yeah, it's eighteen months. Yeah, I don't expect him around much this year. I think that the way he said it, he's probably going to be starting back. I mean, he's committed to the Royal Rumble and um, Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. Uh, got the impression that he's probably going to – he may win one of those things and get, it, get like, one of the championship matches. Like, if, if Cody and Rock is one title match, he may be in the other title match at Mania. Um, if he's going to be around for a year – you know, does he break the Ric Flair record or their their alleged Ric Flair record that they claim? You know, I mean, I could I could easily see that. I know that, um, you know, I know that I don't know that he would want it because I don't think that he's but but they may want it. They may they may want to be able to market him as the greatest of all time and the person who's held the most world titles of all time, even though obviously Ric Flair and Luthez were were ahead of him in these mythical numbers. I mean, they're all made up anyway in, this, in a sense. But in their version of it, you know, Ric Flair's at 16 and John Cena's at 16. So one more win and he's got the record. So they could be doing that as well. So, um, yeah. Um, but, I mean, they talk like it's going to be some serious stuff. not Because if he's just going to be doing, you know, well, he's still John Cena. He'll draw. Like, that's the other thing, too, is um, when, he's, when he was around... Um, the last time he had that run, I mean, man, that guy drew. He drew big at the house shows. He drew big at all the TVs, and his and he drew big not just a uh, gates. He also drew big ratings. So um, you know, and and got the impression he's going to be on Raw because he kept talking about Netflix. So I think that that may be the deal. Is they want him, and again, that's why they may be paying him a lot of money is to help. Um, you know, draw on Netflix when they uh, start in January. 
Well, the Money in the Bank show, other than that, I think that if I would have watched it on delay and just watched the matches, I would have had a very different opinion of the show, but I watched it live. And I sat there, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I long, waited. Really long breaks between matches. Too Golly. long. Too long. I mean, it was getting, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, mat, the, the matches, it was to me, the matches were all very good, and there were no matches that were, like, really great. Like, there's no match I could go and go, like, oh, man. Like, it's it's great. There was nothing as, I don't think there was anything on the show as good as the, as the DIY title win on SmackDown. I don't know if there was anything on the show as good as the Adam Page match on Collision. But every match was in its own way good. I mean, the women's Money in the Bank match was very dangerous and very sloppy, but it also, by the end, was, was you know, pretty well done. And actually, maybe from an outstanding standpoint, maybe the best match on the show, even though it was also the sloppiest. Um, but, you know, I mean, as far as news goes, um, I mean, look, there's news and, you know, uh, Drew McIntyre tried to cash. Drew McIntyre won money in, the, money in the bank. Went to cash in. Punk screwed him over again. Um, he was the one who got pinned. So Seth got screwed out of getting any more title shots by Punk. So you you ended up with with uh, Seth Rollins being really mad at CM Punk for screwing him. You got Drew McIntyre mad at CM Punk for the third time costing him the world title. And Damian Priest is still in Judgment Day. So that's like the big thing. And then the other big thing was uh, Solo Sokoa pinned Cody Rhodes to win the six-man tag to set up their championship match at SummerSlam. Men's Money in the Bank, Jey Uso, Andrade, L.A. Knight, Chad Gable, Carmelo, and Drew one, one, McIntyre. One, 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 one more thing real quick, too. So right now, there is it is not 100% as far as Punk and Drew at SummerSlam, but I was told it is probable. And Punk was kind of asked about it. And he kind of beat around the bush, and he kind of said, "I mean, it's, I, I, it's, it's probably happening." But he kind of did say, "It's up to other people or whatever." You know, he has to get cleared and everything by the doctors, and they may. Um, but, but they were, like I was pretty much told, they're pretty confident in it. But you can't go and say a hundred percent because it ain't a hundred percent. But yeah, that you know, it's been the it's been the hope, but it's now more than a hope. Now it's a plan. You know Drew McIntyre and Punk for uh, for SummerSlam. So it's Drew McIntyre and Punk, Gunther and Priest, and Nia Jax and Bailey most likely um, is the big matches. Brian, you sound like the guy I'm talking about on this match tonight. Yeah. Miz. Oh, stop! Oh, with, with <laughs> his, his huge pop. Granted, you know Miz is Brian's favorite wrestler. <laughs> Braggers Knights. What? 2000, Start over. Again. Start over. Braggers, Braggers Knights? Knights? After a few brags by Miz. A few match. brags? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The match started with body hugged tugs. <laughs> body <More>. tugs? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, that, what show is this? <laughs> that That's where you put your arm around the middle and oh, tag. Okay. Trying to tag a, him around. Tug? You reach around from behind. <laughs> a tug? Brian, stop. Okay. Miz jumps out of the ring to slow down his uh, hurting. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to tear this apart, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> no, please, please keep reading it. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.